here's what you've got to look forward to on this month's intense off-road trip video. But before we get too far into it, where are we going this month? Right, so Perth is here. We are here. We will be taking Tonkin Highway through Midland up to Bullsbrook before getting lost for a brief period in Moondine Nature Reserve. Should we let our tyres down? Yeah, it's getting pretty rough. So you're saying the GPS is lying to you and and we're starting off our our day with uh, being lost? Yep. Sweet! And finally ending up at Julimar Conservation Park, otherwise known as Julimar State Forest or just Julimar. Unfortunately, what started out as pretty good numbers for this trip slowly dwindled down as people made other plans. In the end, it was just myself and my patrol, with Jake and Sam in Sam's Navara. That's the same one that blew the clutch on the Perth Beaches video. Now I've heard a few people say Julimar isn't the most exciting place to go four-wheel driving, but I disagree. Some of this terrain was pretty steep. It was all based on clay too. This would be hell if it was wet weather. Jake's just saying as he's hanging on outside the vehicle there, he's just saying that there's going to be some good camp spots tonight because it's really nice terrain and he's bloody well right. Some of the best looking bush I've seen. Well, <laughs> that sounds funny. Let's, <laughs> let's say that another way. This is some beautiful virgin bush. <laughs> okay, so Jake's hanging on outside and I'm going to drive him through some prickle bushes. Oh, you asshole! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> he bailed. He bailed out. We carried on north, heading towards where we knew the mud pits were. The mud pits are what most people talk about when it comes to Julimar. We knew we were in the right spot once the track just turned to a giant clay pan. Before we get into the slop though, we decided to have a bit of a lunch break, start a fire and make some baked bean toasties. Oh beautiful. It's got a rustic coating. Alright Sam, which one are you going to have? I don't mind. It's luck of the draw, whoever gets the burnt one. I have the right one. That one? Yeah. Oh, you won today, son. You're a winner. I get the crispy one. Oh, and it's nuclear. It's like Chernobyl all over again. <laughs> just had a bit of lunch, so we're going to go and check out the bog holes just for you guys. We'll see what they're all about. Before you go into any wet place, you've got to give it a poke. And Sam's been giving it a poke. How deep are we, Sam? Probably at about a belly button height. Yeah, that's pretty deep. And that's this.
Righto, I've had my splash in the mud. Let's get into some hill climbs instead. So we've headed south from the mud holes, which are kind of at the very northern end of Julimar. And it's pretty scratchy, the track we found ourselves on. It's tight, it's prickly as leaves. Fair bit of mud around. It's lots of fun. I wasn't expecting such good four-wheel driving, really. I've heard people say, oh yeah, it's good for the mud holes and that sort of thing, but I'm really enjoying this. Few decent hill climbs. Gotta make sure you do the um, hill climb at the very end of the muddy area that we were just at. That was really good. This is one of the best tracks I've driven in years, I think. It's pretty bloody hairy, just like your mum. If you uh, want some waypoints, I'll have them up on the blog for you to download later on. But right now, we've just come across another steep hill. We're not even sure it's the way we need to go. This is demonstrating how steep the hill is. Are you okay? <laughs> anyway, we gave it a go. Didn't have much choice, really. There was no way around it. It went easily enough. It'd be a different story in the wet, I think. And I wouldn't advise coming out here if you're inexperienced. This is where the 2.8 really lets me down. There's no torque, so you've got to keep the revs up, which means hitting the boulders with speed. Hitting boulders with speed is a bad idea. Sam didn't have too much trouble, even with his baldy highway treads. Just got to pack it out, and Ab's not got enough clearance to get up here. The sun was getting low in the trees at this point, so we were on the lookout for a good campsite. If you bought it in, you can take it out. That's what they say. They didn't take it out. We've seen a few of these. We've seen a few tortured old vehicles out here. Dumped. I can't believe the West Australian police are dumping vehicles out here. It's atrocious, man. It's atrocious. <laughs> right, look at them sun angles. It's time to get serious and make camp already. So I've discovered the secret to starting the fire with the old uh, knife and flint. 
and it is shit tickets. I'm sure everybody carries shit tickets with them. So just snap off a bit of that. Okay, so I'm trying something pretty special tonight. I've got the Emu's rub, and you might have seen me talk about this before. I've got rub number one here, which is the hot one, I think, and number three, which is the mild rub. I'm using it on a couple of pieces of premium beef steak. Let's get that bad boy out. Now you're supposed to drizzle a bit of oil over it or something, but uh, I forgot my oil, so I'll just go without that. Now I'm going to do one of them with rub number three and one of them with rub number one. Do you want some steak as well, Jake? Does the Pope shit in the woods? <laughs> no, the Pope doesn't shit in the woods. No, if, if there's enough steak, yeah. Yeah? Okay. Oh, jeez. Rub it in there real deep like. Real deep like. They smell delicious. I could probably just eat the rub straight out of the tin. Hey Jake. Yeah. I think I left my shovel just down the hill there. Could you go grab it? Where? Just down the hill. Like where? Oh, see that big tree? Yeah. Just in front of that big tree. Yeah, right. Cheers. Got to be real quick while he's gone. All right, that stuff there is called Wanza's Wicked Temptation hot sauce. I got it from this from this place called Williams in Arizona and they made me sign a waiver saying um, that they're not to be held responsible for any damage I do with this hot sauce and that I'm not to feed it to animals or small children so while Jake's off getting the shovel that I didn't leave anywhere near the tree I'm going to put some of that on his steak So there's my steaks, they've been sitting for about half an hour There's chef in a can Throw the steaks on the flame there Yes. I already know it's gonna be bloody good because it was awesome on the chicken the other day. So good. So if you wanna know where you can get this stuff, check out Emu Swags. He's the one that makes this Emu rub. I'll put the um, link to his profiles and stuff down in the uh, descriptions there. And then you can find out how to get yourself some of this. Jake? Yeah? Is that good or what? <laughs> good! Good. <coughs> you sure? <coughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's emu rub. But it's um... Is that what emu tastes like? No, it's not like it's not actual emu rubbed on it. Do you want some milk? <laughs> yes please. <laughs> Here comes the milk. Hurry. <laughs> doesn't actually burn your face off that much unless you put Arizona super hot sauce on it. Because that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you put on? A little bit more than recommended. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well. After giving Jake some afterburn to worry about tomorrow morning, we settled down for the night. Our departure from Julimar tomorrow would be quick, but the biggest fail of the trip was yet to come. I let Jake drive this one while I stayed out of the car to take some pictures. I guess technically I wasn't driving, so it's not my fault. I don't have to be embarrassed. 
what I do have to do is get it unstuck. Now I've got to get naked and go swimming and hook up the snatch strap. This is going to be brutal cold. Oh my god. So Jake's ankle deep in muddy water in there now. Where is it? Okay, Sam, I've got my handbrake off. I'm just going to start reversing. Go when you're ready. Okay, that time it was my fault, but at least it looked cool. Third time lucky, and I'm trying the other line this time. I did not expect that to go that well. <laughs> that is an Avara with no lift and bald tyres. It's all about the driver. Okay, now that, that was embarrassing. So we're at the end of our uh, overnight trip to Julemar State Forest. And it was one hell of a good trip, I reckon. We had a good campsite last night. There's some awesome hill climbs. If you're a hill climbs person like I am, then this is the place for you. Uh, if you're a mud person, uh, there's a fair bit of mud around and as you'll see I just got done over by that massive puddle so I've got a clean up job ahead of me again now. So that was the trip there. If you've enjoyed it, go down that bottom area there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, if you want all the waypoints and track notes and stuff from this trip, I'll upload them over on intenseoffroad.com. So I'll put the link just in the video here for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.